In this video we will show you how you can document and review your ultrasound exams. Open your study by double-clicking on the selected record. The most common display shows the images, an exam worksheet and a QA worksheet. The QA worksheet displays blank if you are not a reviewer or the review has not been completed yet. If you see the view with the notification you are not authorized to view this QA report, it is because your name is not attached to the study as exam contributor. Sometimes an exam or a QA worksheet are not displayed when a user opens a study. It means that the corresponding functions for the worksheets may be disabled. If you do not see exam worksheets and QA worksheets buttons above the image viewer, click on the triangle menu button to open the full command view and enable the buttons to make the worksheets visible. A study may contain multiple exam worksheets. The number of associated worksheets is indicated next to exam worksheets command. User may select to display separate worksheets or all of them. Click on the command and select all to display all attached worksheets. Let's review the indicators above an exam worksheet. A warning sign shows that a worksheet contains required fields. When all required fields are populated, the green checkmark indicator will be displayed instead of the warning sign. Signature field becomes enabled only when all required fields are populated on the worksheet. When a worksheet is signed by an authorized user, the green seal icon is displayed. If configured, the signed worksheet becomes locked automatically. A worksheet can also be locked manually by an authorized user. The locking mechanism prevents a worksheet from accidental modifications or signature removal. If needed, a worksheet can be unlocked by the authorized user and edited. Any new edits to the previously signed worksheet will remove the signature. User should make sure to sign the newly edited worksheet again. A locked worksheet displays only populated fields. To see all available worksheet fields, click on the sliders indicator. The settings indicator is used to adjust the font size of the worksheet. User completes the attached exam worksheet and signs it. QPath E can be configured to recognize a signature by credentialed user which will be the trigger to send the results for clinically indicated studies to EMR system, billing, or send the images to PAC system. Depending on configuration, studies signed by residents may be submitted for QA review automatically. If it's not the case, submission for QA can also be done manually. Click on Submit for QA button and select a reviewer from the list. The reviewers list includes users who have QA reviewer role. The selected reviewer will receive an email notification of the study pending their QA review. User can also submit a study for QA without a specific reviewer selected. No system notifications will be generated in this case. The submitted study will change its QA status to pending. QA reviewer logs in the application and checks the system notifications. Alternatively, QA Reviewer can create a separate view for pending exams and pin it to the desktop to access all exams with pending QA status. QA Reviewer sees both exam and QA worksheets. The exam worksheet is completed and signed by a physician. User fills out the QA worksheet. Set default function can be used to automatically populate combination of fields when needed. Users may set up the default fields to their preference. Click on QA Complete to update the exam status and send the notification to the exam providers. QA process is now completed.
Physician who documented the study will now be able to view the QA review results. Users' progress for the completed studies and their qualifications achievements can be tracked with the help of QPath Analytics Engine which will be reviewed in the next training videos.